Good morning, everyone. Good morning, everybody. Good morning. Good morning. How you doing, Ann? I'm doing so, so, Diane. How you doing? I'm just great. Just great. Good. I think they all uh, have I'm the, muted. Uh, yeah, yeah. muted. Yeah, okay. Well, I'll mute myself so I won't get in trouble because I... I got a headache anyhow today, so. Man, right. I lost my pen in here. Then. Yes, DL has current number one. Hello. Hello. Uh, anybody how have are a, you doing how you doing i'm i'm ricky Ware. Uh, yes i just read your name how are you ricky okay look here I'm, i want to uh ask a question to you guys anybody have a basement for rent my story would end in i'd like somebody to come and clean mine out <laughs> yeah, i can do that for you <laughs> yeah what it is I'm in a house that has a reverse mortgage on it and the landlord passed away. And I've been on the housing list since 2012. And the housing is very, very hard to get right now. 
Oh, it's really hard. I know. Yeah. Uh, my my girlfriend has been on there for the last three years because they sold her apartment building. Yeah, well, I, I, I've been on there since 2012. Whoa, Lord Jesus. It, it, it's not, I'm not even close, I guess. But uh, I, I did put an application in one place, and they tell me that they're on a waiting list of 2019. Woo! And then some other people told me that they may be able to send me an application, but they got basically a five-year or better waiting list. Lord. And this, and I know I have to get out of here because I have a cousin that was the power of attorney and they had three letters come in the mail, which I didn't understand why they send the letters to this house. I've been here six years. And uh, see, they had the letters from the lawyer's office. So they, I guess they get in cahoots to buy the house or whatever. And I know that she doesn't get along with me and I don't understand why. She's, a, she's 85 years old, I'm 69. We didn't hang out or nothing, no reason for her to dislike me. I'm her cousin, first cousin. <laughs> and and I don't know what you I'm You know gonna... what they say about family, Ricky. Uh, oh yeah, it's the They're money. The ones that, I'm lucky, Mine, mine's not trying to screw over anybody, but they got a lot of people that are dealing with their families that are doing a lot of crazy stuff. Yeah, well, I did tell her. I did tell her you go to church. We brought up in Catholic church. And oh, I me told too. You to, and I told her you go to church, but you're serving the wrong master. I told hey. her that. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I got a relative, I got a relative that thinks that she's uh, God's right hand uh, woman, and uh, I wouldn't trust her with a rusty nigga. Yeah, this that's how this one is. She's got a mink coat and a mink hat. She Queen Elizabeth or something. <laughs> Yeah, it's something, but that, that, you, know, you like money been better than life, is what it mouth is. Mm -hmm. That's crazy. This year was a close one. Good morning, everyone. Morning. Hi, Brenda. Hi, Hi Brenda. How you doing? Good morning. Hi, Diane. Hi, Miss Anita. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. How you doing? <laughs> what are you <laughs> eating? I'm eating a sausage and egg on a croissant and a cup of coffee. Ooh, oh, where's okay. mine? Well, Where well, you well, you where's mine? <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, I'm sorry, I'm just... Me and Ricky will be over, okay? <laughs> okay. You're making me hungry. What, what, you, what you doing, honey? You see the people? Huh? You see the people? Look at the people. Yeah. Oh, look hmm. what's her name? Her name is Miss Cutie Pie Dennis. Oh, okay. oh. Cutie Pie Dennis. All right. She's Good morning, bed. folks. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Lovely to see all of you young faces. <laughs> oh, thank you. Oh, yeah. oh, Miss, Miss James, thank you so much. Oh, you're welcome. Lovely to hear your voices once more. <laughs> Thank you. Hey, hey Miss James. Yes. I'm Ricky. Go I, ahead. I, I, if you have any resources, I need to get housing real bad. I've been on the housing Tomo list since 2012. Tomorrow. Tomorrow we're dealing with housing. Tomorrow oh, okay. afternoon at 1. Where at? On virtual. Did you check your email? If you checked your email this morning, you'll see it's there. Oh, okay. Thank you. Thank you. Yeah. Well, yeah, it's all about housing tomorrow. Okay. Thank you. For seniors. Okay. And that's being, that's being presented by DACL tomorrow. Okay. okay. Thank you. Okay. Good morning, Teresa. This is Tulu. Sure. How are you this morning? Good morning, Tulu. Uh, I can't uh, have a morning. date for my presentation. Well, did you complete your assessment and send yes. it back? Yes, I did. Quite a while ago. Okay, so then I'll look at this. Okay, I will then look at your assessment and then schedule a date. But we're now in the month of January because we, we're already filled oh, up great. in November. Oh, great. Oh, that sounds good. Look, Teresa, I need as much time as I can get because I need to kind of figure out how to, uh, you know, put this on, on, on the Zoom. If I was doing oh, it in person... I would have no problem, but now I got to learn how to do what I want to do and get it on Zoom. Thank you. Your Miss Teresa. Good morning. This is what 
this me. morning's me. meeting me. session is about it's about how to present digitally so you'll learn some more this morning okay okay ready ready to january you said right i'm hearing two voices go ahead brenda go ahead. Yeah, yeah i was asking did you get my information i emailed you yes i saw it yes okay yes. did i do well okay done. But you did wonderful, Brent. Yep. Good, yes, good, I did. Good, Teresa, do you have there. a question, yes. Teresa, before we roll in? Yes. I, I just wanted to confirm that you about the survey about doing my presentation, and I sent your email in reference to it. Um, just a heads up to look at it. Yeah, I need to look at the date so I can schedule for January because I'm booked for uh -huh. um, I submitted December. my survey last week or week before last, so it's gone. Okay. Okay, okay, I'll okay. look at it again. I'm a little behind, but I'm getting there. Okay. I understand. I just I wanted to confirm that you, I just wanted to confirm that you receive it and when you get to it, you get to it. But I just want to confirm you okay. receive it. I'll send Thank you. I'll send an email in Thank response you. to that. Ms. Thank you for your patience. Miss Teresa. Oh yes. What happens when you what happens when what? Somebody raised their hand on my screen. How was that a mistake or is there somebody trying to uh, inform me something? No, it's not necessarily your screen. It's I think everybody sees that hand. We all see that hand. Yeah, this was right on the left hand. It was on the left hand side of my screen. I didn't know it. Yeah, right. And it's usually the hands that's raised. It's basically you can see who's raising their hand. So that's what's yeah. going on. OK, thank you. OK. Mm -hmm. All right, so today we're going to, again, try to keep things light because every time I introduce new information, I don't want you to get anxious. Okay. Okay, because this is not about getting anxious. This is about, you know, being calm and taking in the information because that's how we learn when we're more relaxed and we could actually take it in. When we're anxious, it becomes difficult, okay? Mm -hmm. And today you're not actually doing anything. I'm going to show and tell. I'm gonna talk about the app and then I'm gonna show how it's used. And then on Friday is when I'll get you all to start, you know, actually creating a document. Okay, so I'm gonna go ahead and begin sharing my screen. Um, I don't want to mute everyone, but I would really uh, appreciate if you mute yourselves. That way there's no distraction whatsoever. Okay, and then once we get to the part where we I show and tell, you can ask questions as I show. Okay, thank you. So let me switch off now and begin sharing my screen. Go from there. Oh, is this host has disabled my sharing. I'm the host, so all right, hold on. Um, give me one second. Can you see my screen? Yes. Okay, it's visible. All right. Yes. So, so last week we covered Keynote. And as I mentioned um, initially, that Keynote pages and numbers are all um, belongs to a suite known as iWorks. iWorks is you know. the app. 
Yeah, I works is the Apple version of Microsoft Office. Okay, so on the regular my, you know, devices, non-Apple products, you have Microsoft. And then on Apple products, you have iWorks. And so last week we looked at how to present. Some of you were really um, you know, successful in creating a document and, and some of you learned a few things from it. Today, we're gonna to begin looking at another part of that suite known as pages. And it's probably going to be even more meaningful, this particular one, because now you can create actual documents. You can, for example, if you had to write a letter to the mayor or whomever, a professional letter for whatever reason, you'll be using pages. If you wanted to create a flyer, a digital flyer, and then have it printed off, you'll be using pages. So pages is even more significant than Keynote. Keynote is if you want to present something. Pages is if you can create many documents. As it says here, Pages is a powerful word processor that lets you create stunning documents and comes included with most Apple devices. And it's on your device because we downloaded it two weeks ago today. So this is what the suite looks like. We've got pages. We've got pages here in orange, numbers, which is like spreadsheet. And then we have keynote, which is the presentation app. So today we're looking, and notice to my the left of my screen, Microsoft Word. Can you see it? We're saying, yes, they are aligned. So if you know Microsoft Word, you will find pages easier to learn but this is a beginning um, tutorial so if you don't know Microsoft Word don't panic you will learn pages it's a little bit more um, you have to drill down with pages whereas Microsoft Word all the ribbon is at the top and all you have to do is select 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 with pages you have to drill down that's the difference so all the documents Again, like we learned last week in Keynote, begin with a template, a model you can use at a starting point. Wow, in Word, they, didn't give, they don't give you that, but in Keynote, but in Pages, it's given to you. You can create word processing documents like reports, letters, and page layout documents like posters and newsletters. Simply replace the template text and images with your own content. You can add tables, photographs, drawings, and more. You can add objects like tables, charts, shapes, and media to your document. You can layer objects, resize them, and place them anywhere on the page. Okay, you can change the look of your text. You can add a drop shadow to an image, fill the shapes with color and more. You can modify everything in your document. You can even wrap text around images or link text boxes so that the text flows from one box to the next. Okay, pages comes with a book template. So for those of you who would like to write a book before you leave out of here, here's your opportunity to learn how to do it on your own. It lets you create interactive books and text and images, even a table of contents. When you're ready, you can even make your own book available. Look at that, available for purchase or downloaded in Apple products. Yes, this is something that, you know, as you can take on as a project of, on your own, start writing your book, your memoirs for your grandkids or whomever and leave it there. Something to work on. Okay, you can invite others to work with you on the document. 
Everyone you invite can see the changes they're made, but you can control who can edit or only view the document. So as you create your book, you can invite others to, you could have your kids access the book while you write it and add their um, version or whatever, their input to the book. All right, so two weeks ago, we downloaded apps and one of the app we downloaded was pages. So let's hope that everybody in this group right now has the downloaded app because that's where we're going in a little while. But if you don't have it today, well, you can get it downloaded in time for Friday because Friday is where we're gonna actually start creating the document. And this is what it looks like. Once you tap on the pages app on your device, the next thing you see is this, getting started in pages. And then you would select continue, okay? After the installation takes place. Then the next thing you see is this. Notice there it's in orange. Last week when we did, we worked in Keynote, we dealt with blue. This week we're looking pages as everything is shown in this orangey yellow sort of look. It's more orange than yellow. And then when we go on to numbers, that would be in green. But, so everything now would be looking, all of the icons and, and the navigation bars all going to be in orange. And again, just like Keynote, it allows you to choose a template and then build on that template. Notice in this here, we have the very top of the template here, the Shoney where it says choose a template. You can choose a basic template. You can choose one if you're doing a report, if you'd like to write a book, if you'd like to write a letter, create a resume, flyers and reports. If you are a member of the church and or some organization and you want to do a monthly or weekly newsletter, you can have stationary created where if you want to send your loved ones special, you know, um, whether it's a poetry or something you'd like to write and send it on to someone else, you can do that. You can create certificates on it. And then, of course, there's the additional miscellaneous items also that comes with it. So this is how, for example, if you were writing a report, it'll, they'll give you a template with the report already. And all you would do is clean out the text that's here and copy and copy and cut or cut and paste your own words in. Okay, so Pages, again, is a word processing and page layout app rolled into one. Before you choose a template to get started, decide which type of document you want to create. For example, with word process, you can use that to create documents that include mainly texts like reports or letters. These documents have a body text area where you type and the text flows from one page to the next with new pages created automatically when you re reach the end of the page. When you open a word processing document or template, you can just start typing. That's how easy it is. And we'll, you'll see, I'll show you in a little while. If you want to add text that's separate from the main body text, you can add a text box. You can also add pages, charts, and other objects. Okay. So the page layout now is already put in place for you. So to create a document with, with custom designs like a newsletter, books, or posters, a page layout document, it's like a canvas that you add text boxes, images, and other objects to, and then arrange the objects on the page however you like it. When you open a page layout document or a template, there's no body area. To add text, you need to add a text box and type in it. New pages must be added manually. Just like in Keynote, you added new slides using plus sign. In pages, you add use the same plus sign to add a new page. Okay. So pages templates are designed for either word processing or page layout. The way you add or delete pages 
work with objects and more depend on the type of template you choose. If you begin a document with one type of template, you can convert the document to the other type. So if you're in the middle of a document, you go, oh, I don't really like this template, it's giving me trouble. You can simply hit the change um, feature and it will allow you to go back now and select a different template, okay? So if you like the text styles, colors and layout of the school newsletter template, but you want the design to be flexible of a page layout, you can convert the document to a page layout. So there's a lot of flexibility here. So there's no reason to get stressed about anything. All right, to see whether a template or a document is set up for word processing or page layout, you simply open it, okay? And what would you do? Once you're in there, you would tap in a corner of the document. So no text, or objects are selected. Tap in the upper corner of the document as shown here. Okay. All right. You can create, again, like I said, lots of word processing items here. So here I have the steps, but I don't ex want you to um, actually um, try to take notes on these steps because it's something you will learn as you do it, okay? But like I said, the steps are is where you went. Once you open pages, then you'll be opening pages in what is known as the document manager. You tap at the top screen to open the template chooser. If the document is open, you tap document, okay? So these are the steps, you know, don't try to memorize them or even take note of them because you'll be you'll get used to doing it. Okay, so let's go over the the uh, the wording so you can the terms used in pages so you can become familiar with it. So when in pages when something's referred to as an object, it is any item you place on a page. Tables, charts, text boxes, shapes, and folders are all examples of objects. When you tap in the toolbar, then tap a button, you see different styles of tables, charts, and media that you can add to your pages. You can change the look of an object by modifying individual attributes of it. Like it, you can fill the color, border, shadow, and more. Or you can quickly change the overall appearance of an object by applying a pre-designed object style to it, okay? Object styles are combinations of attributes that are designed to match the template you are using. So as you could see here, you don't even have to be an artist to put these together. It's all here. All you need to do is select what you want your object to look like and make the changes. Okay. so. That paintbrush, do you see it here on my screen? If you recall last week, we used the paintbrush. The formatting in Keynote was the same here in Pages. You are going to use the paintbrush again to format your objects. Each object has its own formatting options. When you select a shape, for example, you can see only controls for formatting that shape. Okay, you can layer objects, resize them, and control how they go around on the page. For example, you can have text wrap around an object or place an object in line so that it sits on the same line as the text, text as you type. Some objects can also be nested. Miss James, excuse me, but we haven't you're having some let, uh, mix up in your voice. Oh, yeah, oh. something something Here is echoes. I don't know if it's my Wi-Fi or, or somebody else's, but this there's an echo like uh, thank you for making it. so there's an echo. I I have the devices going, so I may have to and you're fading out too. Uh, 
Teresa, this is crazy. I don't hear anything now. Just nothing. I think she's gone off and has to okay, come back are you in. Now? Yes. Are you hearing me now? Okay. Yes. Again, I apologize. It's the technology we're struggling here with, but this is the path we've chosen. And so it comes with, you know, the pros and the cons, the comfort in your home, but yet you can be, you know, detached at any moment based on the signals. Okay, so I'll do my best to um, make sure that it doesn't happen again, but I don't have control over the technology and the bandwidth. <laughs> I can do my best to keep that going. Um, are you seeing my screen or do I need to reshare? Can you reshare, hear me? Please. I don't reshare. see your screen. Re reshare, please. Yes. Hold, give me one second. Okay, let's see if we can get the share screen again. Any better? Yes. Okay. All right. Thanks for your patience once more. Okay, so here I have on the right side of my screen where you select your templates. This is a screenshot of how it looks in pages where you're given the options of selecting the template you would like for your document. And always, you always start with a template and then you can modify the template to your desire, okay? So after you open a template, you can add your own text, you can replace the placeholder graphics or delete them. You don't have to keep them, so keep that in mind, okay? To modify the text and objects in your document, simply select the text or the object, tap, then use the control, change the font, the color or size of text. You can add a drop shadow to an image and more. Again, the paintbrush that we use in Keynote is going to be the tool here when it comes to formatting. So keep that in mind. In, in other words, become very acquainted with this icon that looks like a brush. It's your formatting tool. Okay. You can change the look of your text as I mentioned earlier. You don't like the size, then change it. Okay. Pages comes with a variety of templates to help you create interactive books. Yes, you can begin writing your life memoir. My brother, um, who's in his early 70s, he's actually writing his book right now because he wants to leave something for his grandkids. So you can do the same. Begin writing your book right now with pages. Okay. All right, so you can choose a book, landscape orientation. Yes, this is really serious stuff about writing your memoir. 
The page layout documents in the landscape orientation are best for books that use lots of images or have content formatted in columns. The layout of each page is maintained no matter what device the reader uses. Text doesn't flow freely from one page to the next unless you add linked text boxes. So the landscape oriented documents come with one or more page template that you can start pointing for your own pages. If you decide to begin writing your book, you don't have to be a, a writer per se. You can just put images in this book and say, you know, you're talking about yourself, maybe from when you were a little girl and you know into adulthood and but it's, it's, it's the most beautiful idea to write, to get a memoir going for your grandkids. So once you exit out of here, guess what? They can go back in there and reflect as to who you were. I wish I had that about my, my mother or even my grandmother. But you have the chance to do this for your grandkids. Okay. All you need to do is get, get all the images you need. And once we, and you can actually take, if you, and I know back in the day, you didn't have digital copies of images, but there's a way to solve that problem. Just get all your old photographs together and we'll take pictures. You'll use the iPad to take pictures of those old photographs and get them uploaded digitally and then load it into your book. Okay, you can change the book margins, you can customize how the headers and footers are formatting, and you can use different headers and footers for left and right facing pages. Okay, note, if you plan to publish your book to Apple Books, you'll need to apply paragraph styles to the heading or chapters. Pages uses applied styles to create a table of contents for readers to navigate the book. You can also add a table of contents yourself to how you like. So you're creating your book now, and so you're going to have a table of contents like for the first or second page, talking about all the different times in the years of your life. When I was in school, when I was in college, I mean, I got married, and so forth. Okay. You can view the books when you're ready to view or share your book. You can export it into what is known as an EPUB format. In the export dialog, you can add the book title and author name, choose a cup, and more. You can send the book to someone else to view it in Apple Books. To make your book available for purchase, or download from Apple Books, you can publish it to Apple Books directly from pages. All right. You can collaborate. For example, if you're putting it together and you want to add your sister, anybody special in that add to it, you can collaborate with them, share that book while you're editing it and have them add or whatever, or even maybe at the end, they can review the book to make sure that things are looking fine. You don't have to like get the book over to them. All you need to do is add them in the share and they can then access that digital book that you're creating and read it along while you are writing it. Okay. Again, and all you would need is a link. Yes, a link for them to access that book. Okay. And of course, you, if you want to have edited, then you have to give them that. But if you just want them to look, then you lock the system to where they can only look. Okay. Again, you can invite others to collaborate on a document. Okay. And there are all the different devices that you can do it on. You have the right item right now. Now, here's something really nice. Once you get, will make life easier if you do decide to um, write your book, 
and you're not comfortable using the on-screen keyboard, I will be basically uh, rewarding, you know, um, those that decide to go in that route, it, external keyboard. I have access to those that I plan to reward, um, you know, some of you with for your effort and work that you're putting into these advanced classes. Okay. Now you don't always have to work online to create this book. You can be working offline too. In other words, you don't need to have internet access to do it. Okay, so that brings us to the end of the lecture part. The next thing I'm going to do now is actually go into um, pages and show you how does one get started so you can become familiar with it. And you can do the same. I'm going to switch and go to one device. And all you need to do if you wanted to um, see or interact at the same time, all you need to do is hit your home button twice and then go to that pages app. That's what you can do now. I'm now going to give me a minute to ch change over from one device to the next. Can you hear me? I think you're echoing again. Give me one chance. I like to play in a guitar, Miss uh, with your voice. Let's see. Oh, it's really bad now, Miss James. Yeah, yeah, it's it's awful. It sounds like somebody's playing a guitar with your voice. 
and uh, with a synthesizer. Mm-hmm. Log in real quick and take, and I'll give you permission. I need to come out of my my volume. My let me give you host let me see look for you right now Huh? Will mommy catch you? Will mommy get off? Yeah. Okay. Do you want to? Not off the phone, off the iPad, baby. I'm sorry. You should have can you hear me? You can't Still hear me. I can't I can hear you now. Okay, because I don't understand why the signals are going like that. Okay. Um I'm gonna go ahead now and begin sharing. You have the same problem. Mm -hmm. Alex? Teresa? Can you yeah. Me, Hi, Teresa. Can you give me permission to yeah. share? Give me permission yeah, you, you're, to share yeah, you're standing now. I do have permission to share the screen. Yeah, you're, you're sharing it now on your iPad. And I'm sharing my screen. Yeah. Okay, that's all I need to know. Thank you, Alex. Mm -hmm. All right, so all right, I'll go ahead now. I'm going into pages. And can you see my screen? Yes. Yes, we can, can see the screen. You can see my screen. Yes. Okay. I'm, I'd like everyone. To... Okay. Yeah, you're you're going in and out. You're going in and out, can you Lisa. See my yeah, yeah, you're going in and out, Teresa. Orange. Sorry, you guys. I'm trying to figure this out. <laughs> yeah. Hello. Look, that's okay. Yeah, yeah, that's yeah actually, so you're going in and out. Um, it it says you on it sells you on data. Do you are you um are can you connect to your Wi-Fi? We need to do this again. Yes, I am. That's it. I'm on cellular broadband right now. <clears throat> uh, so, all right. So. Mm. 
Hi, can you folks hear me? Yes. Yeah, so um, so Teresa's having some difficulties right now. So um, she let me know that you guys have already downloaded the Pages app. So what she is telling you guys to do is to just go inside the Pages app and you know get yourself familiar um, as much as you'd like. And then on Friday is when she do <clears throat> um, her lesson um, on, you know, a, on pages so she's going to do a show and tell on friday okay because um again she's having technical difficulties but um i will be doing my calendars presentation on wednesday at 10 30 so i think that's that would be a great lesson and then on friday teresa will start um the um pages presentation okay, okay. so um that yeah, so we, we'll just have to see us out for today, but, um, you know, thanks for um, coming on, and we apologize for the technical difficulties, but uh, okay. Wednesdays will be a great lesson, so just be sure to come on Wednesday, and we'll be going over how to use your calendar, We're staying okay? In class Ex excuse me. Excuse yes. me, Alex. Yes, ma'am. Um, there is um, something that I noticed. She's broadcasting from a different room in her in her house um, oh lord yeah, yeah it's it's it's, um, it's just some technical technical difficulties she's trying to work on it but yes the 1 p.m module today should be fine so just if you want to hop on then then that's great but um you know i um got a lot of things to do today so um thanks for coming on and um just be sure to join on wednesday for my training on the calendars and um thanks for joining have a great day everybody Thanks, Alex. Thank you. Bye. Thank you. Bye-bye. Thanks, Alex, for giving us information. Mm-hmm. Uh,